Hi guys, welcome aboard the uh, Quintrex 420 Buster. This is the Gen 2 model. So, uh, extremely popular boat for Quintrex and they've just re-released it in 2021 with some new features. It's bigger, it's wider, it's deeper, it's got plate sides. It used to have a bench seat front and rear. Now it just has the rear bench seat, which is at the back there. You can run two seats or you can run a cushion. Um, and you've got the two side pockets. But so what's different with this one is it now has a front, a genuine front casting platform like it's uh, upgraded Big Brother, the 420 Renegade. So what happens with that is we have heaps more storage like the 420 Renegade has. There's our safety gear bag in there. We still have our anchor well. We still have the bow rails. Um, and we've got a great front casting platform up here. So we're in Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne uh, today. Sort of a little quarter of a meter sharp little chop and the boat is exceptionally stable so we can walk all the way over toes on the edge there and the boat really hasn't moved whatsoever so you can see toes up there no dramas whatsoever um, in the middle here it's exceptionally deep so if you've got kids um, a couple of young kids inside the boat you are inside this boat rather than on top of it so even in the front casting platform there's still plenty but in the middle here it's super deep so you can have the dog the kids the wife the whole box and dice in here and everyone's inside the boat rather than some of our other models like our hornets and explorers you really feel like you're on top of the boat it's a different style um, at the transom here looks like there's a big cutout that's not the case it's a 20 inch transom um, so it's a long shaft motor it's just because the sides of the boats are so tall it makes the little that makes the middle bit look a little bit small um, where in the older model the side sheets weren't as high so it's a bit deceiving there it's got the rear fuel tank rack so we've got our battery our Yamaha fuel tank and we've fitted this one out with the Yamaha 40 horsepower four stroke which um, top speed of 55 kilometers an hour cruises absolutely perfectly at 30, 35, 40 kilometers an hour. It's a key start, so we're gonna start it now. We've got our key start feature. Dead quiet, no smoke, no fumes, no emissions. Um, you know, absolutely no noise whatsoever. Typical safety lanyard. We have our power trim and tilt here on our thumb. You can see the motor going up and down. We have our forward neutral reverse in gear. Neutral, reverse. Once we're in gear, we also have an RPM adjuster. So instead of trying to feather the throttle at the perfect speed here, we can simply change our RPM in 25 RPM increments. So if we're looking for the perfect crawling pace, if that's faster or slower than what we can really do with the tiller handle, that's where we achieve that from there. The last thing we have, which is a great feature on these, is we have a steering dampener as well. So. Right now, the steering's loose. Easy to maneuver around jetties and ramps and things. And tighten that up. So the steering's a lot tighter. So it feels like we've got nicer control once we're underway. So we'll trim the motor down. Accelerate. The boat's nice and flat as it takes off. It doesn't lift its bow really whatsoever. So in a lot of our uh, previous models, you would find to get onto the plane and it'd be quite a a bit of a journey and the boat would lift its bow right up and sort of carry on and the problem with that is you did have to go quite fast before you could get the boat to really settle um, we'll do that again that was really really good so we'll, we'll back right off again no lift whatsoever and as we accelerate there's really no effort to get up on top of the water and get on the plane there so we're just cruising along we're doing about 20 kilometers an hour very comfortable, our trim's down, the boat is just very well behaved, it's just sort of chugging along, it's quiet, smooth, we haven't had a little bang or a jolt or like that, like you normally expect from a tinny, we're going to go a little bit faster now, you feel it's got power, you know, you could comfortably run one of these with a 25 horsepower, um, the 40 feels like you've got, you know, endless sort of power, so that's sort of quarter to half throttle we're doing about 38 kilometers an hour got a little bit of trim into it and the boat's sitting again very very nice that steering dampener feels like it would be a benefit though if the steering was on too light i think you would find it would be a little bit sort of twitchy at the back there um get her going 
We're at maximum RPM now, a little bit of trim. 48, 52 kilometers an hour. Crazy thing is, I've never driven this boat before, but from maximum RPM, the half throttle, the quarter throttle, the boat behaves exactly the same. It doesn't change, it just goes faster. So you can comfortably sit on 38, 40 kilometers an hour. We're turning now, the really interesting thing about what we're doing right now is it's not leaning like a traditional tinny does. There's no sort of rolling over and leaning. There's no cavitation from the motor. It's just literally turning, um, which is fantastic. Accelerate out of that. So, so far the benefits that I've seen straight away from getting in this boat is it doesn't lift its bow to take off. It doesn't sort of get any looser or less predictable as we go faster from what I've seen. And it doesn't lean whatsoever when it turns. It just turns like it's on rails, which is can be pretty typical Quintrex with their new generation stuff. They've, they've nailed a lot of their hulls. It's deep in the front casting platform. It's exceptionally deep in the center here. It's super stable at rest. Again, walk right over, toes to the edge, leaning over. You can see at the back there, it hasn't leaned over whatsoever. When we take off, like we did a moment ago, there's little to no bow lift as we accelerate. And as we go through that rev range again, it takes a little bit of trim as we're going along. We're doing 48, again, 51 kilometers an hour. Back to 36. Straight into the chop. No hesitation whatsoever. Uh, all in all, the previous model was fantastic. Typical Quintrex, they've just made what they had that was great and they've made it a bit better. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please contact Streaker Marine and would love to help you out with your next boat purchase.